Welcome to my senior portrait. Um, just kidding. Hey, um, a lot of people want to know if uh, Death to Prom is based on true story, and uh, it's not. It's definitely fiction, uh, but there are some uh, real events and real people that I was inspired by when I was writing it. Um, I had a great time at my own prom. This wasn't anything like my prom. Um, but uh, the lead character, Renee, was inspired by a friend of mine I knew in Texas who um, kind of had a wealthy family. It was really kind of innocent and aloof about money. And um, I just thought it was really kind of uh, refreshing to see that kind of attitude. It was, it was really funny. He, um, he collected uh, women's couture gowns, and once a year he would wear one to a benefit or a concert. Um, so he, one year he decided he had a silver Mercedes, and he was going to a benefit, and um, he had a dress that had gold in it, and he decided um, that he would trade in his car for a, a gold Jaguar that would, so it would match his dress better for one night. And um, I kind of couldn't believe it and thought it was really wild, but really awesome at the same time. And I, just, I said, hey, what, um, why'd you do that? He said, I just wanted to step out of that car in that dress. And that was his whole reasoning. And um, I just thought that kind of attitude was really fun and refreshing. And, um, and so I kind of channeled that innocent kind of aloof energy into the lead character Renee and where he just at kind of almost anything seemed possible to him um, and including um, falling in love with and taking the straight soccer player to prom and maybe to Europe and maybe marrying him so he just kind of dreamt really big was really confident um, and so I wanted to channel that into uh, our character Renee and speaking of the straight soccer player, I needed a scene where um, Renee and Sasha would kiss. And I thought, well, how, how am I going to make that happen and make it believable? And then, of course, I had a story. Um, a friend of mine, she, she and I were at First Avenue when we were 21, 22. And um, for whatever reason, we were on the sidewalk after a concert. Might have been Blur. Might have been the Pixies. But we decided to give away free kisses uh, for guys, and um, nobody was really going for it until we lured them in with her and uh, decided to tell everyone, like, oh, we're giving away free kisses. And uh, they would look at her and say yes, and then she'd say, oh, you have to kiss him first. You have to kiss me first. And so um, they did it, it was, to get to <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta cut that out. <laughs> to get to my friend who was um, really cute, they had to go through me, and so they all did it. And so I thought, well, that, that's a good motivation thing, and for someone who doesn't really care that much or isn't too uh, freaked out by kissing someone of the same sex, which a lot of people these days aren't really anymore, um, I thought that would be a good storyline to get kind of the lover's triangle between Frankie, Renee, and Sasha going where Sasha really wanted to kiss Frankie for the first time, and she kind of um, was just playing a uh, dare, dare with him to see if he'd do it. So um, that's another, <laughs> another part of the story that's based on a true event in a way. Um, and yeah, but other than that, it's fiction.